Gevura. Gevura in itself, strength, but it is also severity. Elohim Gevur, word that we have for hero. You know, we also end up having it for the angel Gabriel. Gabriel is uh, very interesting because you see uh, an angel is set forth as a messenger, but it also strengthens. Imagine with Joseph, when he ended up having that message from the archangel, he came down and he told him, not only did he not have to worry about infidelity in his relationship, but that it was divine, immaculate conception, and that that child was the savior and the messiah of the world. Rather than him thinking, he was in a broken relationship. And he lost his child, and he lost the woman. Now he had a renewed favor, a renewed strength. He was able to go forth and to bring up that child with more strength, with more perseverance, and with more faith than he ever would have had without him. It led him to be a better father. It wasn't just that he was teaching how to build a house, he was teaching them how to live. He was teaching them perseverance, faith, fidelity, why it is goodness and strength and godliness and devotion that's necessary for us to set for a foundation for all of our children. When you start to have that strength and understand the severity of it, imagine that. It's not simply the severity of me raising my child, it's the severity of raising the Messiah. That's what was given to Joseph from Gabriel. If I tell you that everything that you've gone through, everything that you've lost, every sin you've ever had, so that you could have a connection with the Savior, it was to build forth faithfulness and fidelity into our Messiah. Does that change you? Does it give you a renewed strength, a renewed vision, a renewed hope, a new ability to go forth within this world and to create, to sow forth blessings, to see them brought forth within creation? That's the idea, that you see that strength. That God has that ability to give at it at any moment. And you have to be ready in season and out of season to proclaim the gospel, to receive that strength, that fervor, and that favor of the Lord God. When you hold that, when you receive that blessing, you start to feel it. It permeates in your bones, in the essence of all of creation. Your very soul starts to have a hunger for it. A hunger for the word of God and more. It's the spirit. You can taste something like that. It's built within the essence. I want to give you that invitation every day to use the word of God, to see that divine inspiration, to call on the name of Jesus Christ, and to realize that Jesus is one and the same with you, that you yourself, as Christian, are a representative of Christ Jesus. You build that up, you receive that, and you give that to all the world. I pray for strength and for blessing abundantly in your life. God bless. God bless America. And I'll see you.